Hello and welcome to Out School School, I guess. My name is Catherine and I'm going to help you through the application process. So, sorry, my chair is super squeaky if you hear it. But if you haven't already applied to Out School, check out my teach page and it'll you'll find the link. It is an affiliate link, so by using this link, uh, Out School will pay me once you become a successful teacher and start teaching classes. So if you do use that link, I truly, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and thank you, you angel muffin. But anyway, I am going to jump into the application process. So I already set up an account for my mom since I already have a profile, obviously, and I've filled in all the information, so now I'm at the question part. So without further ado, let's jump into it. There's only three questions. It's very, very easy to answer. The first one is, please list any experience you have teaching or working with youth, whether as a professional volunteer or in your personal life. You don't need previous teaching experience to teach on OutSchool. Our teachers come from a variety of professional backgrounds. Very true. For example, I graduated with an accounting degree, not any sort of teaching degree. Um, and then I started teaching online a couple years ago with VIP Kid and I'm a little burnt out on that, although I love my regulars, and now we're here. So, that is the question. It also says be specific with years, subjects, age of learners, and any context regarding your teaching. So, this is what I put for my answer to this question. Again, use your own experience. Maybe I haven't said it, <laughs> but use your own experience, obviously. Don't copy mine, but I just want to give you an example, and definitely dress yours up more. I just kind of threw this one together um, just from memory. I would definitely add the years into this. So add years like 2016. I just talk about my experience of online teaching. I volunteered at YWCA. I have done a lot of stuff. So that's what I put there. So once you've answered that, question number two. Out school teachers create their own classes. What topics are you passionate about teaching? What experience or expertise do you have in these areas. It's fine to share high level topics here, no need to have the perfect class title, um, and if you need help coming up with ideas, you can check out our list of recent topic requests here. Ooh, this is really cool. <laughs> so I'm going to show you my answer first. This is more or less what I said um, when I filled out my application. I, you know, just talked about how I love makeup. I was a makeup artist for the last six years. I would love to teach makeup on this platform. Um, I also love math and Harry Potter and would love to mix the two of these, you know, into a fun class for middle schoolers. Something like that. Um, again, definitely word it better than I just did. I'm just kind of word bombing it. Vomited. I cannot talk. <laughs> I'm just kind of word vomiting here. I've already done this um, and it takes a lot of brain power for me to write it nicely. So you definitely write it nicely. I'm just kind of throwing the meat and potatoes on here for you. You need to judge it up. But let's go to recent topic requests. Now this is gold, okay? This is where you're gonna find all the classes that kids wanna teach uh, or wanna learn about. <laughs> they can't teach it. They would love to take classes on. So off the start, we have a calligraphy class, a monsters class, Minecraft is huge. Kids love Minecraft. I still have no idea what Minecraft is. But um, yeah, baking. Baking's also amazing. Well, it is amazing, but baking is a huge, you know, topic. Drawing Harry Potter, beginner woodworking, math craft, math in Minecraft, interesting. Olympic diving stretching, okay, interesting skateboarding anatomy and physics like oh the office tv show that has michael scott as the main character Ooh, fun i know a lot of y'all found me through my office tiktok which is so awesome i do have an office class that i teach but you know i don't have to be the only one there are tons of other office classes and you can definitely offer your own office class don't copy anybody do not copy me do not copy anyone else definitely make it your own but um, don't think just because I have an office class, you know, you can't because you definitely can teach one. See, look, the office. Offer ask twice. There's parks and rec. Anyway, there's so many, like, this list is so incredibly long. Like, look at that. That's a tiny little thing. So I'm not going to go in all of these magic puppy books with activities and crafts. Anyway, so if you're stuck and you're like, I don't know what to teach, you will definitely get ideas from that. You can, and even if you don't like any of those 
hundreds of suggestions. You can definitely make up your own class or just give a gist of what you want to teach on this platform. Oh, also, speaking on the classes, you don't have to have a whole class like thought out, like done, like ready to go off the bat. They just want an idea of what you want to teach about. Like, I knew I wanted to teach about Harry Potter and The Office, but I did not have any of that, you know, done until literally the day before I taught my class. <laughs> Seriously. So you don't need to have you know, your whole class laid out right off the bat. You just have a general idea of the subjects you want to teach. That's all I want to know. So, third question. We don't require a teaching credential or certificate to teach on OutSchool. Please list your academic degrees, teaching credentials, current or expired, or other relevant professional certifications. Please include year, subject, and state or institution. So, again, there's no degree required. There's no teaching certificate certificate required I cannot talk I'm so sorry <gasps> oh, this is a hard way to get through but yeah <laughs> um hopefully full of information I don't know I have a bachelor's degree in accounting and then I have a Tesla certificate for my online teaching because to teach Chinese students English you need a Tesla certificate so I just said I have a bachelor's oh and you include the year again do this better than I did <laughs> There's just three questions you have to fill out, and then your intro video. So I have videos totally dedicated to the intro video um, where you just introduce yourself. So definitely watch those. I'm going to take these off. These are very distracting. So definitely watch those before making your intro video just so you know what to include, how to film it, because if your intro video is not properly lit, if there's a ton of background noise, if you are in a dark alley and they can't hear you, um, they will probably not accept your application. So, intro video, I think, is where a lot of people either stop, you know, they're, they're too lazy to actually do the intro video, or they don't give it enough thought, and it, it it's the reason they don't get accepted to out school. So, definitely watch that video. I, I explained it all there. Don't overthink it, just do it. <laughs> Like Nike says. Um, so anyway, that is the application stuff. Um, I hope it was helpful. And of course, if you have any questions about anything, or I've had a couple people email me their answers just for me to look over real quick, you're welcome to do that. Email me at heycatherinedavis at gmail.com and I will do that for you. I will look over it or I will answer your questions. So anyway, um, check out the intro video. And then after that, there are how to create your first class, which I'm about to make right now. So anyway, have fun filling out the application. See you in the next video.